for today's cup of coffee. I have co-host back. Yeah. And it's like I had missed him dearly. Yeah. So I'm happy to be home. Yeah. Yeah. It's a long couple of weeks. Long two weeks. Yeah. Long two weeks. Seemed like longer than that, but I don't know. Since your birth, there's reasons. Yeah, since since your birth, you and I have not. We had a couple of months span there that seemed to last for years, but other than that, we're. I I don't know. The umbilical cord was cut, but was it really? (laughs) (laughs) And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. So just very much welcome back. The spiritual kid. umbilical cord. I think it's it. I think it's it. Speaking of umbilical cords, that can go very well. We'll segue right into today's cup of coffee. And I actually waited on this one a little bit. Of course, everything was uh, with the aliens. aliens. Aliens took precedence over everything. This one comes from Daily Mail by Alice Wright, June the 14th of 2021. Happy solstice, everyone, by the way. I just happened to look at the calendar. Happy solstice. Yeah, happy solstice to you. (laughs) And I have probably a different take on this than a lot of people would. But it says the morgue manager at Harvard Medical School allegedly stole heads, brains, skin, and other body parts and sold them according to a federal indictment filed on June the 14th of 2023. Cedric Lodge is said to have stolen the remains from cadavers donated to the prestigious university for scientific research and education. The filing states that Lodge took the dissected body parts to his home in Gosson, New Hampshire, where he and his wife Denise sold them on as part sold them on. That that's gotta be a British term. I, I don't uh-huh. know. Uh-huh. Sold them as part of a national network of human remains traffickers. Some Love of the remains that. Huh? Love that. High market for human body parts. Yeah. It says some of the remains were even shipped throughout the United States Postal Service. Okay, if it wasn't oozing, if it was contained, what's the problem? And U.S. It's Attorney... still someone's body parts. U.S. Attorney's Office believed that Lodge to have Stolen engaged... Stolen body parts. <laughs> to have engaged in the unlawful trafficking of human remains between 2018 through August the 16th of 2022, whilst working in the morgue as part of the university's anatomical gift program. Well, that's what, what the they fuck? were. Th- weren't they just bitching about anatomical gifts? I think so. Anyhow, <clears throat> I'm, I'm restrained myself. I think it's due to the ethicality of it. <laughs> Colleges, ethics. <laughs> you make me laugh. Lodge had worked at Harvard since 1995 until the medical school terminated his employment on May the 6th of 2023. The school is now working with federal authorities to determine which donors may have been affected and have set up a hotline for donors' families to access information and support. Harvard insists that no other employees at the school are facing charges or are suspected of any wrongdoing. Uh Uh-huh. But... But are they? Because, like, they still got them. (laughs) Several buyers have also been named in the indictment, including Joshua Taylor of West Lawn, Pennsylvania, and Katrina McLean of Salem, Massachusetts, who owned and operated a business called Cat's Creepy Creations in Peabody, Massachusetts. The indictment states, quote, at times... Cedric Lodge used his access to the morgue to allow Katrina McLean, Joshua Taylor, Taylor, and others to enter the morgue and choose what remains to purchase, unquote. Well, you know, you got to sort of see some things firsthand before you know whether you want to buy or not. Yeah, I guess you got it. McLean is is also accused of selling remains he obtained to other buyers in multiple states, including to Jeremy Pauley of Enola and Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. He's the the gentleman that we had a story about several cups 
ago, months, that he had one of the eyes where the uh, sclera that he had had it tattooed, tattooed black. Oh, yeah. And... Didn't that you get infected? No, no, it, what, that wasn't him. He's, uh, as far as I know, he'll probably... Oh, no, that was some other girl. Yeah. <laughs> and it says in October of 2020... My McLean uh, sold two dissected faces and skin to Polly for $600, who was hired to pan the skin and make it into leather before shipping it back to McLean. So he had, you know, a little side business going on there. Yeah. Then the again inspired. The indictment states that Polly transferred eight thousand eight hundred dollars to McLean and twenty five payments totaling forty thousand forty nine dollars and four cents to Taylor via PayPal. Why didn't they just round that up or round that down? Why the four cents on that? Where did that come from? Uh, inflation. <laughs> And Polly, 40, who had previously been arrested and charged for abuse of a corpse, receiving stolen property and dealing in the proceeds of unlawful activities last summer. Polly also purchased body parts that were stolen from a crematorium in Little Rock, Arkansas, by Candace Chapman Scott, according to a statement from the Department of Justice. Scott is accused of, among other things, taking the corpses of two stillborn babies whose remains were due to be cremated. Polly in they turn... Stole the children! Polly, in turn, resold many remains to others, the indictments allege. They stole the babies. Polly is the owner of Grand Wunderkammer. Wunderkammer? A shop which sells odds, odds, which sells Oddities. odd and unusual items to the public and to museum ex exhibits. exhibits. See, kids here, I can't edit like Oddities. I was doing before. Oddities. It is. They are oddities. He is also the executive director and curator of the Momentum Mori Museum, according to his Facebook. He was arrested last June after police received a tip about Polly's suspicious activity in his collections. The caller said they found several five-gallon buckets of human remains in Polly's basement. Okay, why were they in his basement? He's a fucking creep. Who? No. The person that turned that narked on him, why were they in his he basement? He was involved in the black market, too. That's why. In That's best, why. Investigators. Yeah, he probably turned evidence, didn't he? Uh, narc, yeah. Damn narc. Yeah. Narcs are always the ones that are like... <laughs> Snitches get stitched. Exactly. Uh, investigators later recovered the remains, which included human brains, hearts, liver, skin, and lungs. Okay, you can't just leave those things laying about of course maybe they were covered in formaldehyde they may have been maybe because th this is how my brain works it's like okay you can't just leave those things because they decay very quickly so they probably did have them just gallons of formaldehyde are you going to have to turn in your license and everything now to buy large quantities of formaldehyde vodka use vodka yeah vodka is good for damn near anything and everything and it says that <laughs> this was this was funny. United States attorney uh, attorney Gerald M. McCram said in a statement about the indictments, "quote Some crimes defy understanding. The theft and trafficking of human remains strikes at the very essence of what makes us human. It is particularly egregious that so many of the victims here volunteered to allow the remains to be used to." educate medical professionals and advance the interests of science and healing for them and their families to be taken advantage of in the name of profit is appalling with these charges we are seeking to secure some measure of justice for all of these victims end quote in a statement george q daly the dean of the facility of medicine faculty rather of medicine at harvard faculty. described lodge's behavior as an aberrant betrayal and morally reprehensible. Uh -huh. He said, quote, We are appalled to learn that something so disturbing could happen on our campus. A community dedicated to... While y'all are, in, like, head deep yourselves involved in it. Healing and serving others. The reported incidents are a betrayal of HMS and, most importantly... Y'all are up to your eyeballs in, in, like, body parts right now. Each of the Black market body parts. Who altruistically 
chose to wheel their bodies to HMS through the Anatomical Gift Program to advance medical education and research. We are so very sorry for the pain this news will cause for our anatomical donors, families, and loved ones. And Y'all HMS just saying pledges that to, save y'all's asses. to engage with them during this deeply distressing time, end quote. Absolutely. Let's go back and unpack some of this. Do and y'all not see how transparent? <laughs> we needed that statement like a leopard needs a three-way mirror. It's like this. This is absolutely absurd. And this goes back to this two-tiered justice system at this point in time. If you think that donated body remains to any kind of whatever is treated with respect and dignity and stuff, no. It's a, it's a body part. They're going to do with it what they do with body parts, which is dissected or whatever. It's not going to be enshrined. Yeah. It's going to be dissected. It's going to be uh, incinerated after that, whatever. Unless it's sold to someone on the black market, then God knows what it's going to be done with. Usually, I'd say that these collectors would give more reverence to the donated body parts than these medical schools. Some of them do. But the other ones, you don't know. What we don't doing know. Well. We don't know. But and as far as... I, <sighs> I said I have a different take on this than, than other people might because we have some of the most, you talk about egregious, we have some horribly egregious things going on college campuses at this point in time. Let us remember, and I can't remember if it was Harvard or where it, where it was, where it was, Mountain Speak coming through, that these medical students had rejected the Hippocratic Oath. First, do no harm. They refused to say that anymore. So am I really concerned about... what? Now, this is what these, these schools... They want to talk about ethics and stuff. Oh, hell no. That's a thing of the past. Yeah. So as far as uh, them not wanting to do anything to uh, the, the corpses and stuff, there's some hideous and heinous things being done to corpses every day this is not the only selling of body parts there is a huge black market that is coming out of some of these federally funded programs that's all i'm gonna say those who know know coming out they've been out I'm just saying that they had, you know, when people are getting Ferraris and new cars and stuff like that because that they can get top dollar for certain body parts, that's egregious. Yeah. And it's yeah. not it's not coming from these donated corpses. No. So it's repo the genetic opera. <laughs> I mean, it that is absolutely crazy. We have got some of these countries around the globe that you talk about body part trafficking when you've got prisoners that are having organs removed from them while they're alive <clears throat> when you've got some places that people uh willingly sell body parts and it is very much like repo the genetic opera in a lot of ways we just don't got zydrate not yet so as far as them doing whatever they're doing, I'm not saying that this is right. I understand that if somebody donates their body part to be used for medical research or whatever, okay, that, that's fine. But I'm saying all this hoopla, hoopla over what these guys did, that's much to do about nothing. You do have a very, you've got a very small macabre market out there. I don't know if somebody stated in their will that they wanted their, they allowed, they would allow their organs or body parts to be sold to somebody. Is, is that legal? I don't know that it is. I don't know that it is either. But why not? If you can donate it to science, why can you not state, you know, I want my skull to be sold to the highest bidder? See, that's what I'm saying. It, it's rules for thee, but not for me. And, and it's not for everyone. I get that. 
Yeah. I really do. I mean, that's like, why, why can't I just, like, have a Viking funeral? <laughs> Ship me off to sea and set yeah. me on fire. <laughs> yeah. I think, you know, you should be able to have a funeral pyre. You know. How come no one has had a siren-esque funeral? Uh, explain what that would be. You dress them as a mermaid. Oh, okay. And you, like, just put them in the ocean. Just throw them in there? Pretty much. Just th just ship them off. Well... Do you, ba you don't even dress them as a mermaid. You just throw them in the ocean. Oh, burials at sea. That's not... That's common. That's common. I mean, I, I don't know if you would have to get special permission to do that. Uh... I don't know. This we do have laws as far as where corpses how how remains can be dealt with, which is in some ways really stupid. You should not have to have a license to be buried on your own property, right? You shouldn't right? have to have. You know, I, I think that the state and the government. I mean, it would, has, it would be understandable, like if you were in like town limits and you were yeah, using like a a city proper or water but if you're on like in like the boonies right nah you should be able to have your own graveyard on your property yeah you and you can you actually can have family plots family cemeteries and stuff you can but it's some of these other ones as far as the establishment of new family cemeteries which is something i need to uh look into mm -hmm. you know since i want to be buried in the backyard yeah to find out about that. But it's crazy. Our, the government has inserted itself into every aspect, or is trying to, of Americans' lives. And I don't think it's just our nation. There's other nations that, that they're doing this shit also. Yeah. But this feigning of outrage, especially from Harvard, which they're doing some... Heinous things ethically. How about churning out Marxists? I think that's kind of heinous. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they want to talk to somebody about ethics. Oh, my God. I, that, that was the reason when I, when oh I read God. this. Uh. <laughs> like It's like the sudden 80s child reemerges ever so often. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's just insane. And you wonder, it's like, do you hear the words that's coming out of your mouth? Now, I think if I had been an attorney, which it's a damn good thing because I would be, I would be in prison for contempt, not just jail. I would be in prison <laughs> for contempt to sit there and go, okay, what's the difference between doing this and doing this? Right. Uh-huh. So I... I it's just two tiered, and I, it's something to keep people aggravated all the time. We're already aggravated. And the dude who is, just because he looks different, and he got a tattooed eyeball, he ain't hurting nobody. He is really, honestly, he's not hurting anyone. There is that niche market. It's odd. But it's not, there. there's a whole lot worse things out there. I mean, the worst thing you could do is get your eyeball removed. The worst thing that could happen um, is that your eyeball gets infected. We don't know how many he's... With the eyeball tattoos. But people judge him because he looks funky. Oh, yeah. People, the ones that look freakish are not not the ones that's really going to do horrible things. It's the ones yeah. that look normal... If, and are in positions of power. Those are your reptilians. Like, Those are the ones that will really eat your face off. And then their whole point is to consume your soul. Literally. It's not these other other guys. So I, this was much to do about nothing. It was just a headline grabber. Mm -hmm. It did needed to be discussed. It needed to be made into a cup of coffee. Yeah. So... I don't know. You get you got. I get it. The people did not donate their body parts. The, the intended purpose was not fulfilled in the donation of the body parts. Huh. And I think it's interesting as far as the dissected faces being tanned. 
Is it literally like <laughs> like Lady Cassandra from Doctor Who? It literally where they're stretched was... out on this like in this like metal frame. I don't know. I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting. Um, a lot of this stuff is cultural because some of the people, uh, I think it was basically Yakuza or Yakuza, whatever. Mm -hmm. I heard, I, I was taught Yakuza. So if that's wrong, then whoever taught me 150 years ago, you blame them. That when they had those amazing, beautiful, full bodysuit tattoos, yeah. that after they died, that the skin was removed. Mm -hmm. It was preserved, so the artwork would be preserved. Well, yeah. So that's a cultural thing. And in Hawaiian culture, if I'm not mistaken, their tattoos are so, like, when they reincarnate or something like that, it's what they're going to be reincarnated as. Oh, that's interesting. Like, I'll have to look into that. Like, if you get a stingray tattoo, that's... You'll reincarnate as Stingray. Huh. That's interesting. I'll have to look into that. I'm I not, if not I, familiar if with that's that that's wine culture. I may be mistaken. If I am, please correct me. Well, you know, tattoo has its own language. Mm -hmm. And it depends, you know, again, that is very cultural. And subcultures, people forget that subcultures exist and that some of us that walk outside the line of normie culture... They want to judge everybody. Don't don't be judging people. Yeah. I mean, it's wrong to judge people. Find, Find out, out. Talk to them. Find out their story. Yeah. Even as far as they that. Well, I understand why he is a matter of making some monies. But you, you got to admit the amount of money that exchanged hands was. That wasn't great sums. Mm -hmm. That was a very small amount of money. Yeah. So, th there's many ways to look at this. Yes, I have a Libra rising, and it, it causes me grief. I've got a Libra <laughs> moon. <laughs> it's not, there's a whole lot worse things going on out there. There's a whole hell of a lot worse things going on in these colleges. Yeah. I mean, there's a shit ton of wrong uh -huh. going on in those colleges. Some of these things we need to re-examine. You know, even as far There's a hell as of a lot that we actually need to re-examine. Really, why do we do what we do? Because it's been handed down. And I'm not saying throw away somebody's culture and their heritage or anything like that by any means. But it's a matter of going, okay, where did this come from? Where did this belief start? What is the actual meaning of this? Trace it back. Find out the true origins of it. And whether it is something that needs to continue or not. Mm -hmm. Because we have been presented a period of time here to re-examine these things and find out if things were accurate or if it was bullshit. Yeah. For real. Yeah. I mean, it's just like flowers. Well, oh, everybody got to take flowers to the guy. That was to prevent the smell of decay yeah from overwhelming yeah it wasn't to appear to make it look pretty right right so people don't even know why or they to do what show they your do. peace or whatever if, i mean if you're going to do a tradition or a custom or whatever at least find out the meaning of it yeah don't just follow blindly exactly it's people not bothering to learn their own culture right that's what it is right or, or even themselves to find out why they do what they do why they believe what they believe are there uh, is their understanding of things accurate or not well that's western culture for you to yeah follow blindly, isn't it but see this needs to be re-examined there are so many wonderful things about western culture and then there are things that are not yeah just like every other culture mm-hmm because they comprise a human, they got good parts, they got bad parts, and that some parts is in pickle jars. <laughs> I did that just to see that look on his face, folks. Final thoughts, kid. And pickle jar. <laughs> pickle jar. Head in a jar. That's what I, I just see this 
face smushed up in a jar right now. That's, that's, that's Silence that's of the image. Lambs. I, I, I saw something like that on eBay. Silence of the Lambs. Well, that's actually happened quite frequently. It was a prop on eBay. It was yeah, like a shrunken well, head maybe. in a jar that was like squished up. Yeah. That was the that was the gag gift or something right. like that. That's like I said, that's not been that's something that's been done lots. Mm-hmm. Lots. So that's your final thoughts. Yep. I'm so glad you're back. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> it's nice to be home finally. The cats miss you greatly. This this one child, this one baby, this kitten has grew up mm -hmm. within this two weeks. Yep. It is already so big. Yep. It's amazing, isn't it? And I hate that I missed out on that. But you know what? It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. If you've had experiences with the paranormal, supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, you can send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com and the email description. The description the email, box. Yes, the email address will be in the description box. Yes. As will the link to the article. Uh huh. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all and have a good. Know that you're loved. Yes. Thank you all. Anybody who's said a prayer for us, thank you. Thank you. What you give out will come back to you. It may mm -hmm. take a little period of time, but it will. Yes. And you all are very loved. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cut. Uh-huh. Bye. Bye.